Hey guys, today I'm gonna save your life again. And when I say save your life, I don't mean your actual life. I mean your pocket life. Your money, honey. Now, caveat, which I believe is a Latin language word that says, Parentheses. Meaning, hold on, think about this. How do you spell caveat? C A V E A T, period. Anyway, I am doing this mask comparison so that when this world goes back to normal and the coronavirus is out, which it seems like it's never gonna happen. Did you know that the influenza flu, I'm sorry. Did you know that the Spanish flu apparently had three waves? It hit, people hid, people came out, spiked again, and the cycle, and the cycle, until 650,000 people died before it cleared out. Many geniuses out there are saying that this is gonna be like the flu season where it's gonna be here every year. Really? A super bug from a freaking military slash disease control place is gonna just come and disappear or it's gonna be here forever? or whatever, who knows? Anyway, what I'm trying to say is that when all this passes and all the mask supplies are filled up again and now you can go without hesitation and buy some online at their normal cheap price, uh, my intent is to help you to make sure that you get the proper mask. Because when all heck broke loose and we all went crazy, especially me, I went out and bought anything I could get my hands on. Whatever mask, whatever type, anything. Lucky for me, because I've been allergic to dust and grass, and I don't mean that kind of grass, I'm talking about mowing the lawn, how all that pollutants and dirt and pollen and everything covers you when you're mowing the lawn. And what's a guy like me at my age doing mowing the lawn? because I've hired five freaking companies and they keep breaking my pool screens with the weed eater. They don't know how to do it. Imagine that. So like the saying says, I got to do it myself. I believe that's French. Meaning everybody gets it wrong. I have to do it right. Pain in the butt. Anyway, so because of that, allergic reactions that I have to all this dust and pollen and everything, I have been buying these masks from Home Depot and Lowe's for years. So I'm the only one in my hood that wears a mask when I'm mowing the lawn. And I wear eye protection so that the pollutants don't get in my eye. And I wear the little earplugs because the noise pollution don't wanna hurt my brain. Anyway, so when this whole pandemic happened and nobody had masks for sale, I said, hey, let's check out the ones I have in the garage. And bingo, and freaking 95s, wow. But I only have one box left. So what I've had to do in this last two months is that the very basic times that I go to get food, I've been wearing the same one because I also found out that once you use it, if it gets the coronavirus on it or from you breathing into it, it takes four days for the bug to die and four days for the mask to dry. And guess what? You can't leave it hanging on your car because the UV light damages the effect of the mask. So you have to bring him in the house you know what I did? I'm so smart and I don't have one here. Get a clothes hanger, 
Here's the clothes hanger, okay? Flip it like this, put two books into it, let it dangle from any desk or table, and then hang your mask right here. Here's the hook of the clothes hanger, look. And don't touch it for four freaking days. Now, if you have a lot of these, you can label them one, two, three, and four so that you can use this one Monday and this one Tuesday and this one Wednesday and this one Thursday being number four. And then you can come back to number one on Friday and number two on Saturday and number three on Sunday and so forth and so on. I'm a little aggravated this morning, can you tell? So I mowed my lawn today and I decided to try my new KN95. And this is what caused my revelation to help you guys pick the correct one. Hold on, freaking TV. Okay, so here's the deal. I'm out there mowing, blah, blah, blah. And I decided, let me show you what masks to buy so that when they're available, you buy the correct one. Now, I bought the KN95, which is supposed to be the Asian version of the N95. And before I continue, there's two kinds, N95, which is supposed to stop 95% of all the junk of getting in you. Then there's the N99, which is 99 point something. And then there's the N100. Of course, you can't find those. But when things get back to normal, get those. Now, why am I doing this video again? Because while I was mowing and I was using my brand new, came from Asia. So it's been sitting in the freaking closet for a month, making sure that all the bugs are gone, if there's any. Um, while I was using that, I found that there was a problem. So I am going to slowly go one by one to show you. First junky one, which I'm not gonna buy again, but I had a box. This is what I used to buy before I found the N95s. This is the typical dust mask. D-U-S-T. Look at the pictures of my side profile when I wear this. That's one side, watch this. That's the other side, okay? Very flimsy. This one, the researchers say only keeps you from swallowing six only keeps you from swallowing six percent of anything that you breathe so what the heck do we call that kn6 so basically it sucks so let's move on to the next one this is not going to help you from corona so don't even spend your freaking time at it very flimsy no porthole to breathe out nothing Okay, now we're gonna get to the trouble I had this morning when I first opened my individually wrapped Asian KN95. Now I'm gonna take my time to open this so that you can see it. There's the outer. There's the nose clip. There's the inside. And look at these pictures of my profile. And now the other side. Okay, so ready for the demonstration? Here it is. You just put it inside your face with your nose, around your ears. Squeeze the little nose clip down to seal.
Are you seeing this? I found myself breathing inside of a paper bag. This never happened to me on the real N95s with the porthole. So I found myself having trouble as I was mowing the lawn in the heat and exerting myself. <sighs> Terrible, no porthole. It'll do the job if you're picking up food in a restaurant or doing whatever, but for you to be at work with this all freaking day is a nightmare. Plus, it's been reported that after you've been breathing and breathing and breathing on it, after hours and hours, the funk of your bad breath will be here and you'll have to disinfect it. And I'll talk about that later to get the bad breath smell out of your mask. Now, does this remind you of anything? <laughs> if y'all seen any movies from back in the 70s, or early 80s, or even 60s. You know that anytime a bad person was gonna break in and do something to a lady, he would always call when the lady was along in the house, alone in the house, and then he'd be on the phone doing this. Hello, this is Annie, who's this? and then the bad guy would go. <laughs> and then Annie would get scared and take off. You know the mystery movies, right? So you always heard that in every freaking movie. And then came the 70s. And let's see if you remember this movie. My name is Darth Vader. Look, I am your father. You've been effing your sister. Of course, Star Wars, Mr. Darth Vader. I like that part, you've been effing your sister. What a classic. So finally, let's move on to the real mask. This is the one that I want y'all to spend the money on, okay? This will be the N95. Remember, National 95, Nutritious 95, uh, whatever. Look at the well-constructed mask. There is the porthole. There's not gonna be any Darth Vader head in your paper bag motion. It's completely firmer. You take a breath and then it lunges your carbon dioxide right through the ports. Look how beautiful, look at this. They cost a little more money. Look at the ridge here. It pushes more against your face. I mean, the whole thing. This one they say is 89.6%. I know it's KN95, but apparently if you have little stubbles in your face or round face, thin face, whatever, there may be some leakage, but anyway, it's better than the freaking dust mask at 6%. So 89.6% or so. Okay, so this is the one y'all need to get. Now look at my pictures here of my profile, wearing it, ready? Other side. Okay, so now I'm gonna show you the box that I used to purchase this. And I got this from Home Depot, so watch this. That's the front. That's the back. And that's a little zoom of what it says it can and cannot do. Do you see that? So anyway, guys. I hope this video has helped you. Um, this is the only one to get. 
If you guys, as you get older, start suffering from allergies, when you're outside, just carry one of these. During flu season, carry one of these. In October, when people go sailing because the winds in Florida pick up, and all the freaking pollen from everywhere, all the nature and everything keeps flinging into your parking lot, your house, your car, turning everything yellow. Just do what I do. Walk into work like this, and then set it by your desk, and then when you leave, walk in like this until you get to your car nice and safe. You know, in the beginning, people were making fun of me. They were like, what's wrong, what's wrong? And I would say, allergies. Look at the wind, look at the yellowest all over the place. Do you understand? Does it make sense now? Oh, okay, yeah, good idea. Wow, I must be a freaking genius. Anyway, guys, this is the one to get, N95. Now, really, the one to get is the N100, but you can't find that. The N99 it would be Mo Beta, spelled M-O apostrophe B-E-T-T-A. So, of course, get those, at no matter what the cost. When they get back to normal, everything will be fine. Anyway, guys, it's been a pleasure helping you again save some money and giving you the lowdown on all this stuff. I'm tired. It's Sunday. I need to go back and watch TV. And by TV, I mean Netflix. Who the heck watches TV with commercials anymore? I'm out! And thumbs up to myself. Don't forget to subscribe and hit that freaking bell for the next video that's coming out pretty soon. And give me a thumbs up. Some, don't be so cheap. You're already there. Just click on the thumbs up. Help a brother out. See ya. Yeah.